Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the San Francisco Giants going up against the New York Mets. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go now. And today's starter, Max Scherzer. And as usual with him singing, I think we can expect plenty of strikeouts. Yeah, Boogie's racked up over 3,000 strikeouts in his career, so expect to see more of the same in this one. Okay, all set to go. Right Mike Yastrzemski up here. Mike Yastrzemski. The pitch. On the ground to third. Oh, great stop. And he gets him. Nicely done. My goodness, Singy. That was a great diving stop. And maybe even a better throw. Yeah, this out is all about athleticism. I mean, this guy did a great job knocking it down on the dive. But he doesn't get the out without the cannon of a throw. That was just impressive all around. Up to the plate, it's Brandon Belt. And the first pitch misses in the dirt. Hit well, right field, way back, and gone. Brandon Belt goes deep, his first homer of the year, and just like that, they're out front. It's 1-0. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. One down. And now the first baseman, Darren Ruff. That in third. The first baseman, number 33. And that one Darren fouled off. Ruff. Okay, from here, he's got to treat this as a clean inning. Forget about the fact that his team is now down by a run. So here's Scherzer. Strike two. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Nope. Next pitch misses, and it's one and two. Pretty standard high 0-2 fastball right there. If you're smart, you'll look for something down in the zone, but not too far. Don't want to chase that breaking ball in the dirt. And down on strikes he goes. Now two away. Two that outs, base is empty. Jock Peterson now at the plate. Jock Peterson. Rolled softly, but Rolled that goes foul. Scherzer deals. Into center. Nimmo should have this one. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. It's a run for the Giants on the solo blast. It's now a 1-0 ball game. Bottom of the first, and towing the slab, Logan Webb. What do you have on him, Chris? Well, this guy has a ton of respect from his own teammates and guys that are playing behind him just seem to take it to another level. You know, he's the type of guy, if he's not having a good day, to try to save that bullpen for the game and the next game, he'll go out there and wear it. So in this one, if he can keep his pitch count down early, he has the ability to work deep into this ball game. And he deals. Line to left, and it goes just foul. Left-hand hitter waits. And fouled off. 
The pitch. Ground ball, left side, and foul ball. Left hand batter waits. That one at 95 missed up top. Estrada fires over to first. One up, one down. Batting second, the shortstop, Francisco Lindor. And now it's Frankie Lindor. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. Slapped foul. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's two away. Stood absolutely no chance on that slider right there. And I don't mean to that laugh, but that's a tough one. No left I mean, pretty much a perfect yeah. strikeout pitch. I mean, it looks like a fastball Here. middle in kind of has cutter action and it just bunches you up to where you can't get your hands through and the barrel to it and not much you can do unless you recognize the spin early and you spit on it. Jeff McNeil stands in here leaves that one down. And a pitch. And another ball. Backed off the plate that time. That just oh, missed. He walked him on four pitches. Batting four. And now it's the polar the bear, Pete Alonso. Alonso. Pete Alonso. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. And the right-hander deals. Swing and a tapper. Fires over to Ruff, and that takes care of Alonzo. And the inning is over. Met strand one, and it remains one up. Back here at City Field, second inning set to go. And digging in for Leading San Francisco, for San Francisco. Brandon Crawford. Singh, you Brandon talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out, and he makes all the plays. And because of that big power arm, he's able to play a little bit deeper, make throws from the outfield grasp. This one squared up down the left field line. If it's fair, it's gone. It's fair, and it is gone. Brandon Crawford takes him deep, his first homer of the year, and they add to the lead. It's 2 0. Elevated fastballs, especially away, are like putting a ball on a tee. Hitters do a lot of cage work. They're comfortable hitting off the tees, and he was comfortable right there hitting that ball opposite field for a home run. Tyro Estrada to the plate. Batting six. The second baseman, Tyro and it's first good. offering is fouled off. Good. 
That one misses, and the count is one and one. Eric Summersgill, our plate umpire. One thing to watch out for, Boog, is what side of the plate Summersgill might be favoring. He usually sets up at an angle. Pitchers sometimes will try to figure that out early so they can attack that spot and get as many strike calls as possible. And a count one and two. How much were you aware of the umpire scouting report or even who was going to be umpiring? Not a whole lot. I mean, there were a couple of umpires that weren't real good. But outside of that, you just kind of went into the game, especially back when I was playing. And Estrada is out. And there's one down. Batting seven. The center fielder, number six. Steven. Now batting Duggar. Steven Duggar. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys, nicknames, hometowns, and as well hobbies listed, just so you can kind of small talk the umpire a little bit. <laughs> That's great. Next one is off the plate, and now 2-0. Next one misses, and that's ball three. Scherzer winds, kicks, fires. That's in there, and the count is three and one. Clearly taking all the way there in that 3-0 count. It was a cookie right down the middle. And the pitch. This one smacked out to left center. Dives and makes the catch. This dive wasn't the result of a bad route, Singy. The only reason he made the play is because his route was so good. No doubt, Boog. StatCast tells the same story. I mean, he got to a spot as quickly as you can possibly get there. And he had to in order to have a chance at that diving play just special digging in Jake Vossler Ball first pitch just misses and the righty deals that's inside that's Ball two. Swing and a miss as he was late. That fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. Fouls one off. Two and two. The pitch. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Giants add on one more. Bye-bye, baby. The solo home run. It's now a 2-0 ball game. Back here in Queens, bottom of the second. Eduardo Escobar, El Caballo up to him. The third baseman, Eduardo. The line to kick the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. The line to the pitch. Bounce to the left side. Can't glove it cleanly. Safe at first as they can't make the play. Batting six. The first baseman. Dominic. Smith. Now it's Dominic Smith. And there's a hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. 
Back to back singles. Batting That's a seven. good sound Nobody coming off the bat, man. And as he Four connected man. out front, lifted into the outfield. Mark. That's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. And that one gets down. Fair ball. And that's going to kick into the corner. The run comes in from second and a 2-1 ball game now. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. We all saw his hit hard, but how hard was it, Singy? StatCast is here with the answer. Yeah, Boog, it says the exit velo was 113 miles per hour, and it looked every bit of it, didn't it? I mean, just an impressive swing of the bat, and clearly he saw it out of the pitcher's the hand no problem. Hit. Here's Louis. Luis Guillorme. Oh, First Guillorme. offering misses the mark. Well, he's just given up three straight hits, and now behind in this count to this hitter. Might be a good time for somebody to call a timeout. Maybe the pitching coach go out there and talk to him just a little bit. And a pitch. And downstairs. He's got a base open, so the pressure to come in and really attack this hitter, not as great as it would be if the bags were sacked. The next pitch misses. And now 3-0. and oh. Appears they're working around him with the base open, Singy. Well, you know these 2-0 counts, Boo, they're just not what they used to be, and we sound like old guys when I say that. But ultimately, this is a strategic game, and you expect to see this type of approach by the pitcher in this situation. And he walked him. He knew he had a little wiggle room with the open base, but now that disappears. Mistake to this Batting next on. batter, and this inning might really him. break open. Come on. Tomas Nito with the plate. Nito. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Next pitch inside, and that's ball two. Pressure's on right here. 2-0 count, base is loaded. You don't want to fall to a three-ball count and then walk in or on. He's got to challenge the hitter right here. Here comes a pitch. In for a strike. Strike one. They need a strikeout. And you need a ball perhaps on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop-up something. But you've got to make some pitches. But if he can battle and get through this, he can earn some points. At the belt and fire. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Right-hander kicks, deals. That's ripped into the outfield. Duggar makes the play, and there's one down. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those loop hits to get a knock sometimes. Here's Brandon Nimmo. Ground ball right side, could be two. He fires home for one. To first, safe there. So no double play, but they cut down the run at home. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Here's Francisco Lindor. Tried to check his swing, appeal to third. No, he held up. Hard hit in the line. And it slams off the bottom of the wall. Knocks it down. Down one, and he clears the bases. Clutch at bat to give him the lead by two. Anytime you smoke a ball off the wall, you kind of think about what it could have been. But obviously, you have to be happy with that result. And now here's Jeff McNeil. The left fielder, number one. Primo. McNeil. First offering, and it just misses.
Lindor stands at second with two gone. Ground ball up the middle. Whips it to first. And that is that. But four score in the inning. Three of them on this bases clearing double. It's now 4-2. Welcome back. New inning getting started. And now the veteran catcher, Kurt Casali. For San Francisco, the catcher, number two, Kurt Casali. The right hander back to work. There's a strike. If he doesn't get a knock right here, that pitch he just took is going to eat at him for a while. You might not see another pitch like that from a top level guy like this. Here's your one. And a swing and a miss. And ball one. Well, that's kind of what you expect in an 0-2 count. Excellent job of the hitter to have the plate discipline to lay off of that pitch. Wait. Next offering is fouled back. Stays alive. <laughs> The next offering misses, and the count is even two and two. Up the middle, Lindor picks it up. Throw pulls him off the bag, and he's safe. Well, that's such a routine play. Probably makes that throw accurately 99 out of 100 times or even better. But that one just got away from him a little bit, and he couldn't stay on the bag at first. And up next for San Francisco, Mike Yastrzemski grounded out his first time. That one's in there 0-1. And a pitch. Popped up. Smith has this one sized up. Hauls it in for the out. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. And now it's the Giants DH. Brandon Bell. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And the 1-0. And the 1-0 misses low. Got to be real careful here. 2-0. He's hunting for his pitch. Next offering upstairs. Down. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. <laughs> 3 0 hack right there. Say, man, I'm going to go for it. The pitch. Line drive caught. The first baseman, number 33, Darren Ruff. And up next for the Giants, Darren Ruff. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Next pitch is popped up. Makes the catch in and over. 
One left for San Francisco. They trail it here, four to two. As we go to the last of the third, and now the DH, Pete Alonso. The designated hitter, Pete Alonso. Been a rough start on the mound for this guy. This third inning is so important for him to get on track, turn the page, settle in, do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this one. Swing and a foul. Pushed off to the right, and that will get out of play. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning, threw a lot of pitches. And the 0 1. Swing and a high fly ball, pretty well struck, right field, way back, gone! Pete Alonso takes it deep, his first homer of the year, and they add to their lead, it's 5-2. When you see a guy take a slider on the outside part of the plate and hit an opposite field home run, fires you up because not only is he flexing the muscles to show the pop, that kind of approach, you'll hit for a high average as well. Now, now it's going to be Eduardo Escobar. Eduardo. First offering Escobar. misses the mark. One wrapped foul. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Back to back base hits. Just kept it simple. Now Played batting. Pepper with First the middle of the hit. infield and took Dumping it back in. where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. Next to hit, Dominic Smith. And he's already singled in this game. Right side. That's a base hit. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. Well, clearly yeah, he was ready to hit right the there. Right just one of those seen eye base Norland. hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled Dang. over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. Here's Starling Marte. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Next one is off the play. Now 2-0. Oh. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. No outs. Runners at first and second. The 2-0 is in for a strike. Well, he looks fresh out there. Just needs to get a little more confidence and remember how good he's been in the past. Double play ball to second. Over to Crawford. On the rough for two. That was a much needed double no play right no, there. No, 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 Gives him a really good shot Second at minimizing base. any further Three. damage in this inning. He your man. So up next for New York, Luis Guillorme. And first offering is fouled off. And that one ripped into right. That's a base hit. Run scores. 
Picks himself up in RBI. That was one of those swings that feels like you're swinging an aluminum bat. It jumped off so hard, squared it up, and it went screaming at 108 miles per hour. Two outs, runner at first. Here's the catcher, Tomas Nito. He's over for three. one. Jump off. In the air, out towards right center. Yastrzemski under it. Makes the play, and it's out number three. On to inning number four. It's the Mets six and the Giants two. Out of the fourth, and Jack Peterson stands in. The Giants, the Giants in striking the distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. I need a good and bad out of him right here. The wind of the pitch. Ball one there. Ball one, no strike. That one hooked foul. Next offering misses, and it's two and one. That one in for a strike, two and two. Cut on and missed, struck him out. One gone here. Here's Brandon Crawford. Brandon. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Next offering is in for a strike. One ball, one strike. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Now he turns and heads for second. In safely. It's a double and his second hit. Now back. Second baseman. Tyro. And digging in for San Francisco. Tyro Estrada. Fly to right his first time. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Kicks and deals. That one missed. Runner leads away at second. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Well, this is a good time to step out of the box, take a deep breath, reset. A couple of change ups. Probably won't see another one here. Scherzer ahead one and two. And the one two misses to even the count. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. And the next pitch is way outside. Righty to the plate. Oh, now this one's blasted deep to left. Way back there, on its way, and out of here. He'll circle the bases, his first homer of the year. It's 6-4. He's so good at getting his arms extended, and that's exactly what he did right there. He don't typically want to pull a pitch in that part of the plate, but he doesn't allow his wrist to roll over, stays through the ball, gets the lob, and gets the home run. Base is empty one away. Here's the center fielder, Steven Duggar. The center fielder, number six, Steven 
And that's in there for strike one. Still only one out here in the inning. Next offering is down low.